friends welcome to another tutorial of sabrin vlog if you haven't subscribed my channel yet kindly like comment and do subscribe in this video we'll talk about inbreeding and its strategy along with the effects before moving straight forward to inbreeding we should know about the breed so breed are group of animals related by similarity in their characters the meaning is that whenever we say that this is a breed it means that it is a group of individual which are related by their similarities for example similarity of characteristics similarity of features similarity of traits or we can say that they are related genetically mostly inbreeding inbreeding is special from breeding in the terms of here mating happens between closely related individuals within same breed for like 4 to 8 generations meaning is that you know the group of people are there group of individuals are there they do interbreeding in that group only and this happens for like 4 to 8 generations so that some characteristics are still retained in their population or we can say that these individuals are closely related genetically their gene pattern is almost resemble with each other there must be some difference but 90% it resembles inbreeding is a very hot topic in zoology because it is concerned with production of animals with a superior characteristics or desirable characteristics so strategies of inbreeding includes basically the cross of superior male and superior female let's take an example of cattle in case of cattle the male is bull and the female is cow so their desirable characteristics can be here bull can produce dominant progenies and cow lead to the production of progeny who can produce more milk so these are some desirable characteristics whenever their progeny is formed or we can say that baby calf so that progeny is evaluated 
for these characteristics. Inbreeding can also happen in plants, but the strategy is same. Coming to the effects of inbreeding. Inbreeding can lead to formation of pure line across the generation. The meaning is that certain traits are fixed for the whole generation. The second one is that superior genes superior genes can be accumulated by the process of inbreeding or we can say that by inbreeding and can eliminate undesirable genes. For example, if there is a cow that don't produce much milk, so that can be replaced. So, you know, in the uh, in breeding cross, that cow is not selected and that kind of genes are not accumulated. Also, one of the effect of inbreeding is that it can lead to inbreeding depression. Which is related with loss of productivity. and fertility of individuals across the generation. So let's say if there is a breed and interbreeding, inbreeding is going on in that breed. So what will happen after certain generation, they are not able to produce more individuals because they'll become infertile because of inbreeding depression. Hope you like the video. Kindly comment and do subscribe. Thank you.